um, but I'm going to put interrupt driven speech so you can have sprites animated, music playing and talking all at the same time, just like for example Alpina, something like that. In fact, you could write Alpina in Turbo Fourth, no problems at all. All the screen scrolling is uh, supported. There's a, a windowing screen scrolling, so you can define a region on the screen and move it in any of the four directions, or you can move the whole screen in any direction. Uh, support, um, TurboForth.net already exists. I've bought the domain name and reserved the space. Um, there's another um, website which I've been uh, trying the some of the code out on. Um, TurboForth.net will have an online language reference, so if the, you need to know how Word works, if you can look it up on the internet. Uh, all the information about the language will be there. And there's a book, a real book, that you can buy from any bookshop in the world. It will have an ISBN number. Uh, I'm about 100 pages into it, but it's going to be a big book, I'm afraid, because it, it assumes you know nothing about fourth. So it's not, it's, it is specific to Turbo Fourth, but it assumes you've never touched fourth ever. So it, it, it will take you all the way through the fourth language with a lan language reference at the end and also a dump of the source code at the end so you can see how it works. So we're looking at four to five hundred pages. I think it's going to be a biggie. <coughs> and that's uh, that's typical. I'll start. I'll start the application in a minute, and we can, I can show you. That's the uh, that's the uh, information to contact me if you want to know more. Uh, those are the two two websites. Have a look. This is the dedicated mailing list, which is just a Yahoo list, um, which saves me having to spam the uh, the, the main TI lists um, every time I want to tell people. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the mailing list, please feel free. It's very low traffic. I maybe I maybe post on there once every two months. If I don't have anything to say, I don't post. Uh, I only post when I want to tell people that the language has just moved forward or got any problems or something like that. So uh, so that's that. So what I'll do, I'll I'll, uh, I'll start it up, and you can have a look. <coughs> Oh, fourth has been implemented on um, well to give you an idea um, most of the instrumentation software on the space shuttle is written in fourth which was coded in the 70s um, and it's been uh, as far as we know um, I was having a conversation with some fourth aficionados it has been implemented on pretty much every processor architecture There's, um, there are GPL versions now for the PC um, there are numerous ARM implementations for example there's numerous uh, 68k family implementations most of which are free which is freely downloadable these days. There are, there's one fourth, there's one commercial fourth vendor in the UK uh, by the name of MPE in Southampton. Stephen Pelk. Stephen Pelk, and uh, he's been making a living, uh, uh, not so much from the from the fourth language, but I think fourth is one of the tools in his in his toolbox that he uses for developing very fast, very robust code. And he's been working on everything from uh, Formula One telemetry systems for Formula One race cars to bomb disposal robots all coded with fourth. Um, he's got a very advanced fourth product that they've developed <laughs> over the years. So, uh, so it says 300 yeah. words that's from the red. Would you find those in an x86 implementation? Of Pretty much the only ones you won't find, because this is based on the 483 standard. Uh, the only ones that you won't find are the words that I've added, which will be, yeah, which will be architecture specific to the 4A, for example, sprite handling and sound and that kind of stuff. <coughs> All the other stuff. Uh, for example, there's a book which you can buy. It's an old book. It was published in 1983, called "Starting Forth" by Leo Brody. And as far as I know, pretty much all of the examples in that book run 
on here. Yeah. So. Uh, Right, there we go, we're in, uh, we're in fourth, and as you can see, we've got nearly all of our CPU memory is available, and we've just got a, a flashing cursor, um, just like BASIC, it's waiting for us to tell it to do something, or ask it a question. Um, in, uh, in any language, you could, uh, you, know, you could type a number, and it wouldn't know what to do with it, uh, fourth being very different to any other language is quite happy with you just giving it a number and tells you so it says it's okay and gives you a number after the okay which is just means that there is now one item on the stack what happened is it analyzed what we typed <coughs> it checked uh, nine against all of the known words in the dictionary didn't find it and then said well is it a number oh yes it's a number we placed it on the stack. If I put another number on the stack, that's fine. No problems at all. <coughs> I can examine the stack with dot s, which means print stack. And it shows us that we have 9 and 100, and the, the arrow is pointing to the top of the stack. So 100 is the top. So 100 is the top of the stack. So that's the, the lowest one. Yes, this. Um, so because it takes the. Uh, we're, we're pointing to the top of the stack. Okay. What's the uh, bit width of the stack? What size number do you actually store? Uh, the, uh, the way I've got it set up at the moment, 128 words. I reserved 256 bytes of, of data stack. I've never come anywhere near filling that. I think the most I've had on there would be eight words, uh, ten maybe, ten words I've had on there. Um, yeah, probably. Um, so you can see that we've got two numbers on the stack. Now if I, um, if I say plus, now we have only one number, that's because plus, um, plus is not uh, an operator like in other languages it's not part of the syntax of the language it's just an executable word no different to print or, or anything it's just a word that does something and in this case it actually takes the two numbers off the stack adds them and puts the answer on if I do dot s now 109 on the stack <laughs> if I want to remove that number off the stack I can hit drop as you can see, it's gone. Um, I can do things like uh, looping. What I'll do is uh, I'll create a word which counts in a loop. <coughs> so create a word called test, and we want to. You'll, you'll see now why the language looks backwards. When I pressed enter and it came up with zero, that's that word compiled. It's pretty much instantaneous. And when we run that word, it doesn't have to interpret it every time like in BASIC. That word now is actually just a list of addresses um, such that when you run it, there it is. Um, and the way this works, I'll just show you briefly. We create a word called the test. When that word runs, it places 100 on the stack, it places 0 on the stack. You can think of this as the maximum, and this is where we start from. So we start counting from 0, and we want to count 100. Do is a word defined such that it expects two numbers on the stack. The top number is the start point, the second number is the maximum. Um, I 
is a, it's a special word. It takes a little bit of understanding. <coughs> if you think to your basic programming where you have a for next loop and you'll often say for i equals and you use i like a variable to monitor the index of the loop, it, it works exactly the same way, uh, but it's always called i. It's a, it's a word which knows how to look into um, the do loop in which it's running and find its index. And you can actually nest do loops and if you want the index of a do loop, it's always called i, but it knows which loop it's in. It's kind of complicated. Um, I, when you call it, <coughs> gets the, uh, the index where the current position inside the loop and places it on the stack. Simple. Dot means print the topmost value on the stack, removing it as it does so. So we get that. Loop sends us back to there. Or there. Depends how you want to think of it. It actually doesn't send us back to there. It sends us back to there. Um, and so we go in, 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 a, in a loop. What makes it look strange is, is the fact that the parameters come before the action. Because in, in most languages it would be the other way around. But because it's a stack, your data has to be on the stack first. Otherwise the word has got no data to work with. That's, that's why it is like that. Yes, sir? Yeah, well, I just noticed that it's option base zero, obviously, there, because it's actually only 0 to 99. Yep. Can we change the option base by changing the zero to one? No, it always starts from one. So, but if you wanted to count to 100, then you have to put 100 in one. Well, you could make it start from one, go to 100 quite easily, by doing something like test 100, zero, do, i, one, plus, dot, it doesn't change the option base, but notice there that uh, it's it's told us that test has been redefined. Yeah. Do you need a space between one and plus? No. One. This is actually a, a word. It's a word which means take whatever's on the stack and add one to it. Simple. One plus is the word. Yeah. One plus is actually a word, yeah. And, and, uh, so, that, so one plus is a word, and that's a base <coughs> word of fourth. It's not a word, is it, or is it a word created? No, it's in most fourth systems. Right. Yeah. You can actually, if you think about it, um, you can create that word yourself if you wanted to. That's just, I'll just... Um, oh, it'll just say word and redefine it, yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll just... Um, here you go. One. We can actually override the word and make our own. Uh, Before you do that, can you show the existing implementation of the word? No, because it's a coded in assembly. Or you could compile it. Yeah, it's in ROM, so yeah. But if I want to, I can write one plus in fourth, and it would look like that. It tells us that it's been redefined because it already exists in ROM, but um, fourth is set up in such a way that if you redefine a word, all new versions of the word are used. Um, and the reason for the, the reason that is is you have a dictionary. Here's the words in the dictionary. Um, this is an intermediate build. There are more words than that, but. Um, I, Turn some words off. I turned off the 32-bit words. What that word? uh, words. Words. Standard fourth word. What fourth does? Um, it, uh, it works from the bottom of, from the back of the dictionary. So <coughs> that's the word that we just created. So when you're 